Hello and welcome everyone. We're at the lock in Cork in Ireland. The birds are being fed by some passerbys. We have some nice little geese and I don't know, some water birds, pigeons. We have lovely swans here with black swans. I'm going to just follow them around for a little bit and uh, let's approach them gently not to be in their way. And these birds, it looks like they're being fed bits of apples and bits of veg. Some people still feed them bits of bread and stuff. Um, it's been told not to feed them bread here because of this beautiful little lake we have here that um, the bread builds up and bacteria builds up in the bread. So it's safer just to feed them little bits of vegetables and grains. Hi, little guy. Hi. Hi, little guy. Hi. Are you talking to me? Oh, you're talking to him, not me. Oh, here's another one. Hello. They're all happy. What a lovely day for guys. They're really happy. I think it's maybe it's apple. Maybe. Oh, look, I have a little friend. Hi. Hi, little friend. They're nice and tame. They're not really frightened of people. They like people feeding them. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, you two. I'm crouched down. 
down, so maybe I'm blending in a bit. Maybe I look like a giant bird. Oh, here we are again. Are you doing little circles? Are you jogging around me? Or am I in your way? I'm probably in your way, am I? Any translators? Duck translators or goose translators? Either he's having a really interesting conversation with me or he's telling me, get off the turf. Cluck, 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 cluck. Oh, I have another friend. Hello. Hello. Hi. You guys are so friendly. Just don't peck me. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, here we are. You're really cute. You're like right next to me. And you're nice and quiet. You're eating the grass. Where's my other little friend around? The one that's doing the laps? Oh, oh he's fighting with the other one. Naughty, naughty. Oh, look at this guy. This guy wants to be heard. I love the dynamics of them. They're probably like people, they're probably just fighting over food. This one could be a bit cranky. Oh, you have a little black beak. I think I'll go gentle with you. You look like you could be a bit cranky. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, little guy. Hi. You are a nice bird. Maybe he just wanted someone to talk to. Was that it? I was giving all my attention to the other ones over there. You got a bit jealous. So everyone, I'm here at the lock in Cork. A lot of people come here to feed the birds. A lot of people come here to just hang out, go walking, go for a jog. There's a nice playground here. It's close to the city. Oh, oh my gosh. We have a bit of a dispute going on here. What's going on here? This guy's getting all uh, worked up. What's going on? What's going on? Tell me about it. We'll have a little look at these guys preening themselves. And we might see if we can see the swan. Oh my gosh, my ears. I think we'll have a little look around for the beautiful black swan. He could be out there nesting somewhere. Quite a chilly morning today in Cork. I could do with some gloves. Have a hat and scarf and jacket, but not much else. This is some information on the lock. Oh, there's a legend. The legend is as follows. A little way beyond Gallows Green in Cork and just outside the town, there's a great lock of water where people in winter go and skate for the sake of diversion. But the sport above the water is nothing to what is under it. For at the very bottom of this lock, there are buildings and gardens, far more beautiful than any now to be seen. And how they came there was in this manner. Long before Saxon foot pressed Irish ground, there was a king called Cork, whose place stood where the lock now is, in a round green valley that was just a mile about. 
In the middle of the courtyard was a spring of fair water so pure and so clear that it was a wonder of all the world. Much did the king rejoice at having so great a curiosity within his palace, but as people came in crowds from far and near to draw the precious water of this spring, he was sorely afraid that in time it might become dry. So he caused a high wall to be built around it and would allow nobody to have the water, which was a very great loss to the poor people living about the palace. Whenever he wanted any for himself, he would send his daughter to get it, not liking to trust his servants with the key of the well door, fearing they might give some away. One night the king gave a grand, grand entertainment and there were many great princes present. Mm. I'm just reading through it, guys. <laughs> it's a bit of a long tale. So I won't go through the, the, the full lot of it, I think. Anyway, skip down a bit. The king and his guests were not drowned. Okay. Uh, hello. Anyway. That's a bit of a long tail for first thing in the morning to get my head around. <laughs> It's so cold here today. Cold but nice. Where is our lovely black swan? I see some swans are over there. Crossed away, that's where they nest. And there's some nice fish in here as well. Did have a lot of carp in this lock, but uh, carp fishing um, I don't think it's uh, allowed at the moment because the fish were a bit sick. I think it's easy for something, um, this area water, to become polluted <coughs> so easily if people are, uh, you know, overfeeding birds and stuff. So it's a fine balance. pretty. We have the Hawthorne bar and Chinese restaurant here. Nice houses and trees. If anyone wants to give me a shout out, tell me where they're viewing this from. Are you in Ireland? Are you abroad? Are you having nice weather like this? Oh, look at this little guy with the red eyes. Hi. Hi, little guy. And he is a matching one with a little grey head. Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying the video. Chris morning in Cork. Not many people out walking in the lock today. I'm very lucky to be here enjoying nature at its best. Watching these little birds fishing, fishing for their supper. Don't know if they're catching anything, maybe some weeds. I'm still looking out for a black swan and it's only occurred to me, maybe he migrates. Maybe he's gone somewhere warm for the winter and maybe he'll be back again. I don't know if he's here. Um, all year round. We have the playground up here. Nice place for a playground. This little guy with the red legs. And he's off. Now this is actually, you can walk all the ways around here. It goes around in a ring. I won't be walking all the ways around today. 
but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of all the birds. They're happy to eat the grass, so the grass must be good for them. Full of chlorophyll, healthy things. It's a really nice walk. So you have the inner part where I'm walking here, or you have the outer part there. I'd imagine the outer part is probably better to jog and it is a little bit busier. The ground's a little bit uneven here for jogging, but people still do jog away and they're happy out. All the sounds in nature. The water is nice and still. Lots of birds here, lots of birds in the trees. Please don't poop on my head. <laughs> What a lovely day, we're so lucky. It was beginning to rain a little bit just a few minutes ago actually before I started recording this. Oh, I hear a little birdie here, he sounds different. Different than the rest. Um, yeah, anyway, the weather. It always goes back to the weather when you're filming. Try not to get the phone or camera wet. And there's a little place over here that you can buy food to feed the birds as well. Some uh, maize or meal it's called. Here are the pigeons happy out having it. Nice green and pinky shimmery colours on them. Here we have some information about the birds of the loch. So I wonder if I get any information on our black swan. We have our mute swan, our mallards, our coots. Yeah, we saw them. Tuft duck. Yeah, we saw him. He's got his cool little bit of hair there. Little grebe. Don't know if I saw him. He's got himself a nice little fish. Cormorant. Yeah. We have a lot of them. I haven't seen this one with the green head. So a lovely one of uh, the grey heron up in the trees on the way up today. And this is a fish, a carp we have in here, perch, rudd and European eel. Look at this guy, how he walks. <laughs> Real funny. Hi, little guys. So, the swans at the moment. Normally, they're quite good at coming up to people. I wonder if... If they're nesting and they have little eggs to mine, so they mightn't be a social, or maybe they're smart, they're just staying warm and cosy. Oh, here we have it. Strictly no fishing due to CEV virus, SEV virus. Don't know what that is. The beautiful lock. Yeah, it is beautiful. So nice.
So that's it guys. Thanks for joining me on my little trip around the lock. Uh, I'm a bit cold. I'm just seeing one other little plaque here. So it's just showing about the trees of the lock. So let's have a little look at that before uh, I finish up here. Go back to the car and warm up a bit before I do any more filming. Oh, someone fed them Brussels sprouts. Wonder if they like that. Trees of the lock. They've got some lovely trees here. Look at that big tree. So we have, I think we've one of everything. An ash, silver birch, hornbeam, lime, Lombardy poplar, London plain, white beam, sycamore, silver maple. That is a lot. And here we have some more birds. Yeah, that's our little uh, funny friend with the red legs, black-headed gull, herring gull. He looks very serious. Lesser black-backed gull, jackdaw, magpie, those lovely blue wings, a rook, pied wagtail, a moorhen, and a sand martin. The sand martins are lovely. You can see how they they live there. And a fine pub next door, yes. Everywhere you go in Ireland, no matter how re remote, even up the Cork Kerry Mountains, you'll find a pub. So people don't get to miss out. <laughs> and I don't think these are nests. I think these are something else. I think this tree, that's the way it grows. Could be wrong. I think they're just kind of growths on the tree, but someone correct, can correct me if they know more. Oh, thanks everyone for the likes. I like this too. Loving Cork. So, until the next video, take care guys.